It's a spot that people have been stopping by all day. Friends, family, people who didn't even know Jaden Batista to leave mementos to the 19 year old who was killed here on Friday. Horrific and sad. I know the grandmother. Um, yeah, just senseless and horrible. What else can you say? Neighbors are not saying much today, still reeling with what happened here Friday afternoon. A 911 call for help was made. It was reported that a white male was attempting to enter the residence through a first floor window. 19 year old Jaden Batista was on the phone with her friend, according to court documents, when she heard pounding on the door and told her friend her ex, 23 year old Trevor Weigel, was trying to get inside the house. That friend called police. He pulls up on a scene, he sees a male brutally and violently stabbing a young 19 year old female. He tries to take every measure he can to save her life while other police officers give chase to this coward who is running from the scene. DA Jennifer Shorn says Weigel stabbed himself as he was trying to get away. Officers tased him and took him into custody. The pair had dated but broken up. Yet according to court documents, Weigel told police Jaden was cheating on him and he quote, lost it. Our hearts go out to the victim's family in this case. They're suffering an unimaginable senseless loss. This case serves as a reminder that one can never fully appreciate the lethality of a situation when enduring domestic violence. Getting help isn't that easy. The district attorney says she knows that, but she says she doesn't want this death to be in vain. That's why she's urging those who are in a domestic violence situation or if you know someone who is to get help. As for Weigel, he is in the hospital charged with murder. In Lower Makefield Township, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.